Let's see now same method <coughs> with the class interval. Mean is given 54, class interval given, then f given, find p value fx. So, first mid value, see 20 in me, 0 plus 20, 20 by 2 is 10, 60 means 30, 100 means 50, this is 120, 70, this is 90. See, you can see the easily difference also each 20, 20, 20, you can easily see. Then multiply, this is 70, 30 p, then this is the ground off because this different number. 500, 630, that means 1, <coughs> 20, 27 now, 0, 9027, 7, 2, 1, 1, 7, 0, okay. Now, when adding this, 2370, 2370 plus 30 p for this one, this one adding is 39 plus p, 30, 39 plus plus p okay so add this number p separately keep add the numbers alone 30 p separately keep so mean is given 54 so formula <laughs> mean equals sigma fx by sigma f so 54 equals 2370 plus 30 p by 39 plus p so now cross multiply 54 into 39 plus 54p equals 2370 plus 30p. So, now this number comes this side. So, this become 54 minus 30p equals uh, 2370 minus this to multiply this become um, 2106. So, this become 24 p subtract this 264. So, p equals 264 by 24. So, cancel by 2 table 132 this is 12 again 2 table this is 6 this is 66. So, 11 times answer 6 and this cancel 11 time. So, p equal 11. Class interval and normal method same only first mean then just cross multiply properly do.